Tuesday morning, and welcome to McKenty Live. Later this week, can a relationship be improved? With sex therapist Toby Klein. This morning, well, your future. The future, what can we know about the future? 1-800-361-0300, and we welcome one of the very special guests, McKenty Live, Jocelyn Savard, psychic. Uh, we were talking, yesterday there was an eclipse, yes. uh, and how did that affect uh, you and me and everybody? <laughs> <laughs> You're in good mood today, yeah? <laughs> well, it's a total solar eclipse in the sign of Virgo, which made people, especially with all the things happening in the sign of Capricorn, plus in Scorpio, because Pluto is, is going backwards right now, it created sort of, a, we sort of went right in, it made people vulnerable, it made people thinking, it made, it made them that they need affection and tenderness. That's why I'm wearing pink today for everybody mm -hmm. and little flowers so that they could get the vibration of love and things like that. It made people sort of think about their lives, where they are, where, how their past fits into their present and how, this, uh, how is the present going into the future. And that kind of, it's gonna last for another about three, four days. But the beautiful snow that's falling on the, on the yeah. art right now yeah. Yeah. is a certain kind of a very, very uh, kind of yin energy which will sort of clean up a lot of that kind of uh, what we just have to do right now is let our thoughts go and let all the garbage and all the, the insecurities and all the fears from our body, just let it go and flow it and the, and the snow will catch it up and throw it out and put it back right into the earth where it belongs anyway. Well now, so it, uh, the, this eclipse makes us kind of melancholy and introspective. Introspective, more spiritual in one way, but since most people are not really living a life in, within that much, yep. is when they are forced to go within, suddenly they get in, in a state of shock. They don't know what's happening, they sort of lose, they become emotional they become insecure, they become sensitive, and you just go like this for five minutes and yeah. they go, yeah. ah, and yeah. they melt like this. Yeah. And this is, these are, if people would know about these things ahead of their time, they would be able to prepare themselves to say, well, this day when there's an eclipse like that, especially total, you take rest, you meditate, you go home, you take walks, you stay or you get close with some friends that you like, family, or, mm -hmm. and you just don't really take, don't get too involved into very serious projects and things like that. It's not good. Okay. It's time for love and tenderness. No, no, no. Uh, okay, I'm all for that. Yeah. Now, does uh, does the uh, do the stars affect the weather? Absolutely, absolutely. You know when you you buy the uh, almanac and they yeah, can the forecast almanac. almost yeah. all the weather of the yeah. year yeah. because there's an influence. Life is a cycle. Life is perfect. Life is mathematic. Yeah. We could just like you know how the clock goes cluck 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 cluck. Well, that's yeah. life. Life is cluck 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 cluck. Sometimes I wish it was yeah. the other way around, but yeah. it doesn't. You mean we someday I'm going to be a hen? <laughs> I'll be back. Reincarnation. No, cluck, it doesn't cluck, go down. Everything cluck, cluck, cluck. If you know this, the cluck, cluck doesn't go backwards, it goes frontwards. <laughs> right. We always go from, from one, a, a lower state to a higher state yeah. in the beginning. We never now, go to animal. Now, I want to ask you quite a different question. Now, calls again. Um, I noticed that Nancy Reagan has written a book, mm -hmm. and she's on all the talk shows. I was yeah. watching her on Larry King the other night. Mm -hmm. she, she and the, and the ex-president are on Barbara Walters tomorrow right. night or mm -hmm. whenever. 2020. And, and they're talking, 2020. Yeah. And they're, they're all asking her about her astrology, her mm -hmm. astrologer, mm -hmm. and, and wasn't it dangerous to accept uh, advice from this astrologer? No. Well, what do you say about Dangerous, that? my God. You know, when you are an evolved soul and you have an open mind, and uh, you are usually in the, in the position to be the, the, the wife of the, of the president and be, being the president of the world, you have a lot of knowledge that most people don't. And usually they will go for what is the best. Astrology until forever. It's been until about 500 years ago where religion really started getting into it. it. It was always like part of life. You know, there's not a leader or a king in the past history. There's not an Egyptian or Greek kind of civilization that has not been working with astrology knowledge. So the it's, fact that the president of the United States mm -hmm. is perhaps basing some serious decisions decisions, yes. at least indirectly on the advice of an astrologer, doesn't bother you. That means upstairs they are now using people like the president and Nancy Reagan and some other beings on the planet to make to tell people, listen, you know, this, this, this is where you're going to get your answers. Well, uh, Justin, I'll tell you, there's one thing I agree with. Mr. Reagan needed all the help he could get upstairs. Absolutely. Upstairs. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. Is yes, Mr. Sir. Turner going to stay or is he going to quit? He's quitting. He's quitting. Yeah, absolutely. Who is going to succeed Mr. Turner? Me, according, it, it seems the probabilities of astronomy, the way, the way that I calculate it, is, has to be somebody from the past. It's somebody that tried to be in before, couldn't make it, and now it's going to make it. And maybe the initial J, something like that. So, is it, <laughs> yeah. Okay? Okay, I think we all know who we're talking about. Montreal, go ahead, please. Yes, do you think that there might be passageways to uh, Mars in the future? 
Uh, I think we will be before the, the planet Earth here right now. We know that one day, wherever we're living on, we know astronomy-wise that the planet Earth, one day we won't be there. So now what we're doing as human beings, preparing ourselves and developing a certain form of energy to enter another kind of dimension, we will not necessarily be here. We will be able to go on Mars eventually, absolutely. Yeah. And this is uh, closer than you think. Now, do you believe that on some of those planets there are s some people akin to human beings? No, I don't think they are are people like us I think they are some forms of energy which we think they are invisible to us right now but at that time we'll be able to have contact I think there are some beings under some kind of form which are having some kind of evolution state yeah. at that moment and I think there's also other kingdoms certain minerals or certain animal or certain kind of form of energy which are evolving and that kind of uh, energy except that we will not be able to be in contact with that but I think within another 10 12 years approximately since the the world and the planet Earth has been charged with a certain kind of energy which will help human beings to be able to perceive those energies and give us the technology to be able to go to those places. Definitely in the next 20 years we will have a lot of surprises according to the okay. some of those beings. And stopped. welcome to a frequent guest on McKenty Live, Jocelyn Savard, psychic. Amazing how many people asked me this summer about, uh, will you, would you be back? And uh, they saw you on the street here and there. Isn't and they that said, nice? Saw my friend Jocelyn. <laughs> We were talking a minute ago, uh, Justin. This is snake year, or yes. the snake year. Mm -hmm. well, tell me about the snake year. Okay, yeah, with, with a pleasure, because according to the May Mayan astrology forecast that has been done hundreds and hundreds of years ago, it's a very, very important year because it's like uh, they said that the, transi the transit of the Aquarian age has started in 1987, August 1987. Yeah. This has been an eclipse, all right? At 16 of August, there's going to be another one in 1990, the 14th of August in Aquarius, yeah. and that's the transition, okay? So it, it lasts four years. Yeah. And the snake year, what it does, it's a Chinese horoscope, but in astrology, all astrology from all the world sort of sort of just complement each other in a certain yeah. way. So yeah. they, they, are, they all come from the basic knowledge somewhere yeah. in time yeah. that nobody knows exactly, but we all had information <laughs> given on the planet Earth according to certain kind of laws. And snake year is a year where a lot of justice has been made. A lot of people's life, finally, the left and the right comes into a middle and people are, are capable for once in a long, long time, even in a hundred years to be able to come to a conclusion of where exactly they're going what they're going to do with their lives okay. politically speaking economy speaking and especially with planet earth uh, dealing with the cleansing of the planet earth if you see a lot of things with the nature yep. uh, earthquakes and all kind of strange things happening with the water with the earths with the forest and all that stuff that seems to be negative in the snake year because they come out up a lot of it's like pimples on the skin okay so all the inner uh, taking advantage of planet earth comes out but it's also to clean up up and to uh, give us consciousness to human beings to start doing something about it and that's why governments right now will start taking real responsibilities about re-establishing the anti-pollution re-establishing the air and the water okay. and all these things about all the right. planet now it's we, a good year oh, it's a good it's a good year it's a justice year a for just, everybody for yes. everybody yes. Yes. individuals individuals and, and socials it, it makes justice come out true and it makes us realize what's right and wrong about people and our lives in a certain way all right and yes. we'll be right with you but you have a program in New York. Yes. You were there the other day. Yes. What about the whole situation in the United States? What about this thing, for example, the uh, John Tower, this man that's going to run the Defense Department that is uh, supposed to be a womanizer and an alcoholic and mm. I don't know what else? You know what? From the aura that I've seen from him, I am extremely sad. I swear when I went to New York, I was crying. I could not believe the situation right now in the United States. It is very, very, very tragic. People are so naive about politics, and it's about time that individual people, all of us, we have to make a difference and do something about it because it's desperate. Very few people, uh, very few leaders right now in the world are good and have the integrity. It's a disaster, really. This person is not good, and I think all the situation of politics in, in the United States in the next year or now, there will be a lot of scandals, and people will get hurt because we have to realize one thing. We have to stop putting those those users and manipulators, those actors in the political world, and that's what's happening okay. right now. Okay. A few days ago, they, there was a lot of publicity about this uh, psychic fair. Now, w how do you evaluate these things, like the psychic fair? It's, uh, I like it. I think it's the beginning of something uh, good, like it's something different, and it allows people to at least see what happens in those kind of dimensions. I would say 50% is really genuine and good, and of course there's another 50% which is not maybe 
so uh, reliable. But it's well, all right. It's, it's, it's another dimension. And it's, it's, there's a lot of goodies and got good, good information according and uh, about new age and psychic phenomena in general. And there are some people who are really, really good and you could really see through the invisible, uh, invisible uh, uh, world in some way. Okay. Well, well, doesn't it give you uh, a little bit of worry to think that people call and you give them advice on which they might base, uh, you know, pretty serious uh, decisions. Don't you think that in life we all sort of listen to some people or some organization or some situation in life? We, we don't work by ourselves. We always have to learn discriminating situation and discernment in order. To, we listen to people because we trust people and we don't listen to other people. We would trust people. I'm sure if a person like Nan Nancy Reagan and President of the United States Reagan at that moment are not exactly stupid people and they've been around and they have an incredible experience in life and they will not choose just an ordinary astrologer to advise them. And I'm sure that before they went to the services of this lady which is a good astrologer by the way they made a research on her she had proven herself otherwise they wouldn't go to her All right. you have to give intelligence people don't go and choose anybody just like that you know they want why do you go and see a certain doctor because he's been doing great operations and he's been helping many people for a certain amount of years All right. and this lady she's in her 50s so therefore she's been proving herself somewhere along the way right. and why not advise people on the spiritual and the astrology way and unless only the material side of the world you know, I think right. people are entitled. All right, and if people want to ask questions about that, if people want to call up and uh, question Jocelyn about her credentials, or if you want to say this whole thing is bunk, that's fine. Uh, we'll go to the calls right after this question. Yes. Can, has astrology got anything to tell us about friendship, about relationships, about romance? Mm -hmm. Does it? You wouldn't believe, when we do consultations, one of the big issues which we work on a lot is trying to find out that self-knowledge about what we are in relationship with other people. Astrology is polarities and it's uh, understanding certain cycles about certain people. So of course an Aquarian married to an Aries, there's a way and an attitude to be, to be learned and how do you treat your Aries lover and how do you treat your Aries friends or mother in order to, to keep the, the relationship to, be, to become the best that we can. Of course so, astrology does that. So so if somebody was in a marriage and uh, wanted to know how their marriage could be better or how their mm -hmm. marriage was going along, they what would they give uh, the uh, birth dates of both partners? Right. You give the, the date of birth of the person or the friend or the lover or the fiancé or the mother. Okay. And with this, you could create saying, listen, you are a Taurus. You are born this way. Your attitude and you, you, you are that way. If you're going to be dealing with this person, therefore, you're going to have to take this attitude in oh. order to create together something. It's self-knowledge that you could avoid making mistakes okay. because when you know people it's and fantastic. I want to thank Jocelyn right. for being our guest this morning and to remind you of Jocelyn's horoscope on Fridays 4.30 CF12 right here. Tomorrow on McKenzie Live talk with a street kid who's beaten drugs and prostitution. Don't meet her. She's incredible. Don't miss her. We'll see you tomorrow at 11. Neil McKenty's wardrobe provided exclusively by Henry Marks on Drummond Street and Westmount Square. Transportation for McKenty Live provided by Bernard Limousine, 353 58